Welcome back to another Mobile Centrix Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you a very useful tool. Let's get into the video. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string This is the JC Logic Baseband EEPROM Read and Write Tool. If you're familiar with Logic Board Repair, one of the things that you might be finding yourself doing is swapping over the baseband and maybe even the Wi-Fi from the bottom board, from one bottom board to the other, because sometimes you end up with a bottom board that has either too many pads missing uh, or other issues that are going on with it, and the only solution is to transfer over baseband uh, or and Wi-Fi or unlock Wi-Fi. And one of the things that you also need to transfer over is your baseband EEPROM and that component is very small it's fragile and if any damage occurs then it's gone kind of like the EEPROM between the CPU and the NAND also very tedious to remove it to remove and and place onto another logic board and there's a lot of risk involved because if you damage it then the phone is toast the EEPROMs are, are components that you just can't damage at all Although it's completely possible to transfer over the EEPROM, a lot of the time they have underfill and other things that make it just a little bit more a little bit more difficult to transfer over. So this tool solves for that. Once the baseband is removed from the logic board that has the EEPROM that you need, you simply take that board, you put it into the corresponding slot, you press down, it'll it'll recognize that device. You can then read the data from the EEPROM, take your new board that you're going to be transferring over the baseband to, press it down, and write the data from the EEPROM to the new board. So that you don't even have to worry about transferring the EEPROM, let alone damaging the EEPROM in the process. So given that you're going to be putting in all of this work into pulling the baseband's, reballing the baseband that you need, cleaning up the new board, doing the same with the Wi-Fi if you're not unlocking it, going through all of that effort, and then you end up either losing the EEPROM because it's so small it can get easily lost, or you end up damaging it by chipping an edge or, or scra scraping it or pulling a pad, whatever it might be, going through all of that other work just to find out that you've damaged the EEPROM lost or, or one of those other scenarios is a pain. So being able to simply Take a tool like this, plug in the boards, copy over the EEPROM. That's pretty amazing. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me demonstrate this, but at minimum, I wanted to make a video explaining what it is and what it does for those of you that are curious and do board level repair. Let me know if you have any questions and leave a comment if there is a product that you'd like to see in a future video, because just like this one, when I get a request, I make a video. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.